Now we're going to go ahead and walk through some of the different features of the gauge. On the display, we have a handful of icons, not too many. Um, on those icons, we'll walk through and, dis and decipher what they can do for you. The first feature, the first icon on the top left corner is your reference icon. This is somewhat relative to the datum positions on your print. If you're, re if you're familiar with the datum on the print, it's going to be a little a, a b in a box. On our display here, we have that same box with a question mark in it asking us which reference do we want to show. If I hit this reference button, it says reference, and then I can hit any of my numerical keys. So reference 1, reference 2, reference 3, so forth, all the way up to reference 9. So we do have nine references that we can use with this gauge. One thing that you'd like to note is that in this top left corner of the display, there is that same box that you would see as a datum on the print, or you see on this button here, the number seven button. Um, that is telling you which reference is currently displayed. So right now, there's a one in that, bo in that box. If I change references, reference two, there would then be a two in that box. Why don't we go ahead and set a couple references on our part to show you how that actually works. So we're going to set a reference. If I hit my reference key, reference 1, and call up reference 1, say I want to drive to the bottom, engage my probe, and set a 0. I've now established a 0 position on the bottom of my part. Potentially, I have multiple references or multiple datum. So I could say reference 2 and drive to the top of my part and set a 0. If we were to then do a third reference, I could say reference 3, engage my probe, and set a 0 again. At this point, I've effectively established three different reference positions, or your three datums. If you have datum A, B, and C, those datums are relative to reference 1, 2, and 3. So I have reference 1, reference 2, and reference 3.